Aviva, oh, yeah. this could get interesting. Yeah. yeah. It really makes me appreciate how many amazing animals we've encountered. And how many awesome creature power discs you've made. Hmm. Ugh. It makes me tired just thinking about it. I'm taking the day off. No inventing today. I'm spectating. The bros are on their own. I don't get too comfy, Aviva. I'm not a professional scientist, but I think I observed when it comes to high tech. The bros usually end up needing your help. Let's start with a strength contest between the elephant and the rhino. You're on! Rhino power! Squirrel power! Huh? Oh, wrong one. Elephant power! Activate creature power suit! <laughs> Rhino powers. Elephant powers are so awesome. I can do push-ups with my nose. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Save it, brother. It's a sumo-style showdown of strength. Whoever pushes the other guy into the mud wallow wins. <laughs> Elephant powers are the strongest. our stocks of solar panels. I've got a big list. We really have to go to the nearest town to get supplies, like now. I, Martin and Chris aren't gonna be psyched about that. You know, they'll say something like, but well, we just got here to the Sonoran Desert. And we've only met a few of the creatures who live here. <laughs> <laughs> but we can't wait any longer. And that's the point. We're in a desert and we're also running out of water. Hey, why don't we just take the Crotera? That way we get the stuff we need and the bros can keep exploring. Did you see this list? We need too much stuff. It's time for our giant annual Tortuga resupply. Yeah, come to think of it, I am running low on a lot of important materials for creature power suit programming. Uh-oh, and what if we run out of snacks? Water. <coughs> Water. Water! We need water! <sighs> the desert is giving us a beating. Hey! Gotcha! Huh? Guys, knock it off! We have to conserve! This is our last bottle of water! Aviva and I have just decided we have to leave now and go to town and get resupplied. What? But we just got here to the Sonoran Desert. And we've only met a few of the creatures who live here. I told you. I know, but we've run out of so many things and... Oh, no! This is the last bag of nachos, and we have no more salsa. Oh, yeah, you do have to have salsa for your nachos, especially when you're adventuring in the desert southwest. Wait a second. We can't go now. We're just on the tail of that speedy little mystery lizard over there. Leaving now is against the Wildcrats Creature Adventuring Code of Conduct. Yeah, you're right, bro. Gotta stay until we know exactly who that mystery lizard is. Whoever it is, it'll be a new animal for our life list. Seeing through binoculars doesn't count. We have to see it up close and personal to add it to our life list. I know, but at least we know what we're trying to get a closer look at. Oops. Whoa! It has two tails, three eyes, and... Uh, Martin. Ah! The binoculars are broken. Now we have another reason to head to the nearest town. New binoculars. 
Come on, guys, get packed up and ready to go. Please, just five more minutes. Oh, come on, we just have to get close to that speedy mystery lizard. Just five more minutes, please. Fine. I still have to realign the Tortuga's hover thrusters before we take off. I can give you half an hour. <laughs> all right! Yeah, all right! Hey. Thanks, Koki. Yeah, we'll be right back. Sure you will. All right, this will be great. As soon as I spot the lizard, I'll let you go, and then you'll go flying after him. And I can grab that mystery lizard as I fly by. I should have activated bear powers or something strong. Ah, you see the lizard? Not yet. Could be a while. Oh, there he is! Ah! Ah! It's, it's, it's a... Cactus! Give it all you got! You got it! You can say that again. Smooth it out, Jay-Z. Slower. A few more turns. I'll give him the old Jay-Z jigzag. A creature alert. Coming in from some Wildcrats kids. Um, in Eastern North America. Wildcrats Tortuga HQ. Mystery discovery or rescue? Mystery, I guess. Wait, no. Rescue. Wait, maybe all three. Wow, what's going on? We've got a big problem. Our clubhouse tree is dying. Even worse, the whole forest here is dying. What? All the trees are dying? Why? We don't know. We're worried about all the creatures that live here, too. They can't live without their forest. See? It's a mystery and a rescue, all rolled into one. We need help. You're not kidding. Hang tight, we're on our way. Jimmy, take her down, double speed. What's going on? Whoa! Did you tell him to give it all he's got? I didn't know he had this much. <laughs> Die! All right, Stomp. Get those long legs out of here. Chris will keep Gorman distracted as long as he can, but we've got to move fast. So let's round up these raptors and get them out of here. Okay, Abby, you gather the falcons. But which are the falcons? All of these raptors have similar features. You're right, but the different groups of raptors, hawks, eagle, falcons, owls, and vultures, each have special features. Falcons have long, thin wings and black patches under their eyes. On it. Koki, could you handle the hawks? Sure I could, if I knew what one looked like. Like her. Shorter, broader wings and wide, fan-shaped tails. Jimmy, can you sort out the owls? Easy. They'll be the ones that hoot before they sink their talons in my face, right? Well, some hoot, but all owls have round faces and the biggest eyes. Uh. And I'll wrangle the eagles, the biggest and most powerful birds of prey. Let's go, Wildcrats. Falcon. Hawk. Owl. Eagle. Ha <laughs> ha, now that's what I call a raptor roundup. We've got eagles. Hawks. Falcons. Owls. Uh, that's four, but didn't you mention five basic groups of raptors? <gasps> vultures. We forgot the vultures. Come on, everybody, grab a vulture. I hope Chris and the Falcon Powers can keep Gourmand distracted a little bit longer. Come here! Come and get me, Gourmand! Vulture secure. Let's fly out of here. What about Chris? He'll be fine. He's got Peregrine Falcon Powers. If I tuck into a super stoop, the Peregrine Falcon's fastest dive, I can outfly Gourmand's dope. Uh oh! Woo! Yoo hoo! Ha! Oh, the <laughs> Mayday! Mayday! I've been hit! I'm going down! Chris needs help! All right, 
We've got to help him. But we can't show up around Gorman with a truck full of raptors. First, we'll let all the African raptors go. <laughs> Marshall Eagles, away! So long, spotted owls. Be free, chanting goshawks. Hasta la vista, vultures. Fly away home, Falcon. <sighs> Not so fast, Aviva. I need to borrow a little speed from this Falcon first. Activate Peregrine Falcon Power! <laughs> so I can sit back and rescue my bro. Sounds good, Mark. We'll get the rest of these non-African raptors back to the Tortuga safe and sound. All right, Chris. Get ready for a raptor rescue. So fly, boy. Can't move so fast now, can you? That was just a lucky shot, Gourmand. Well, one thing I know about birds, they can't fly right unless their feathers are just so. And I'm not talking about so muddy. <laughs> It'll take you forever to clean off your creature power suit. And by that time, I will have surprised your blue brother and the rest of your friends. And I will recapture my record. creature pod to warn them. All right, buddy. Thanks for the escort, but you better get far away from here now. Because knowing Gorman, he could be hiding behind any one of these clouds. Now to get an eagle eye on the situation, because all raptors have awesome eyesight. Engage Falcon Vision. Bro, is now really the best time for a mud bath? Oh no, he's stuck. And he's no falcon. He's a sitting duck. Ew. Okay, a falcon has 450 feathers, so it takes me an hour to clean each one. Then I'll be here until next Tuesday. Nice dude. I've got to get there, and fast. Uh-oh. Rocketing from the sky is maybe the most awesome raptor power. But it's nothing without power feet that crash. Look who got caught in my trap again! 